Hello people of the internet, welcome back to the Armbar Arcade and welcome to an edited Friday solo video for once. I'm Nay and this is Portal Still Alive so let's get started. So I've completed Portal before but I thought this would be a fun one to run through as a Friday video just for a little bit of something different and it is one of the best games as me and AJ agree so we've got some stuff here, we've got a funky radio, we can jump, that's good, we can crouch, that's even better, we can pick stuff up and put it in the toilet. Hello and again welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. Thank you. The portal will open in three, two, one. Go, go, go. Oh look, there we are, we can see ourselves. Wonderful. We are a lady. That's good. So this is number zero of nineteen. Uh we we better get going then if there's nineteen of these chambers. Ah, big red button. Give me that cube. Give me the cube. Give me the cube. Give me the cube. Put cube on there. Excellent. Please proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. Yeah. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material emancipation grid will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the aperture science weighted storage cube. First test saw was the easiest. We passed it with flying colours. And there are 19, so obviously it's uh, time to get funky. Place the weighted storage cube on the 1500 megawatt aperture science heavy duty super colliding super button. Hmm, I placed myself on it instead. It's, uh, it's not gone well. So from what I remember of the puzzling in Portal, it's pretty interesting. There's the cube. Gonna grab the cube. It's got a little bit of, I know this is going to sound silly, but it's got a little bit of a Zelda feel to some of the puzzles, like it's just basic stuff like putting things on weighted platforms in order to open doors, but obviously you've got to do it right. Yeah, let's not get exposed to anything dangerous now. Where's the exit? There's the exit! See that one kind of boggles my mind because I'm like I see the portals but I haven't made them so they're just kind of swapping round. It does get harder obviously, I mean if you've never played Portal then I feel sorry for you but there's some good stuff to come. Yeah this game was pretty highly regarded when it came out. We're gonna wait for a portal to be shot into this bit here and that'll let us into wherever the other end of the portal is facing. I better get out of the way. Zoom. So now we're up here. That's good. Where do we want to get to? You are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. With it, you can create your own portals. These intradimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances should you. I love uh, GLaDOS's advice as you go through the game. It's kind of unsettling to start with, but it gets... It ramps up towards the end, let's say. Please proceed to the chamber lock. Test chamber three. So we can't go down this gap. But there's a portal over there. We'll just uh, hop on through. Oh, there's another gap, eh? We'll just hop on through. And yeah, that's that's how portal works. Test it for what? But yeah, in terms of like dystopian games, obviously a scientific testing laboratory is a good start. Um, and the way Portal does it, like, it doesn't start dystopian. It's just sort of like, yeah, here's some tests, but by the end, there's definitely some uh, cr crazy stuff going on. So we're going to stand on here, which means that door opens. Ah, there's the companion cube. So we got the companion cube. 
Whack it on the thing. These puzzles are just too easy for me. On you go. I've fallen down. I've, I've <laughs> just as I said I was doing well. We we've managed to like fall through the Earth's core and not depress a button. Let's stop doing that. Number five. It's like a watch mojo list. Number five. So the companion cube's over there, and our orange portal's over there. So let's let's go over to our orange portal, and then we can shoot a blue portal over here. Grab the old companion cube, thank you. And then we can put it on one of these. One there. Me here. Ah, we need a second companion cube. Okay, is there one down here? Of course there is. That's going to fall through to the orange area. We're going to walk through to the orange area and grab that. Cheers, mate. I do love, like, thinking with portals. I know it's a bit of a meme, like, now you're thinking with portals. But if you ever did, like, lateral thinking puzzles as a kid, like, I had a book of lateral thinking, and some of it I was like, oh, this is really stupid. But some of it I was like, oh, that makes sense to me now. The aperture science high energy pellet seen to the left of the chamber can and has caused permanent disabilities such as vaporization. Please be careful. So we've got to fire this pellet somewhere by shooting a portal. So the pellet's going to go onto this. Let's see if we can get a hole in one. Unbelievable. You. Subject name here. Must be the pride of. Subject hometown here. <laughs> That's a good one. I enjoy the humour of portal. Like they've got the tone nailed, the puzzles nailed, the slow ramping sense of unease. They've got that nailed. Everything's just spot on with Portal, as I'm sure you all know. So what we like about this is we can see below us and then when the platform comes along we go and jump on it. Hopefully. That's the plan. Ha ha! Now where do we need to get to? It's a good question. We could just jump. I'd have just jump. Hoop! There we go. I did the uh, driver three jump there, you'll have noticed. Hoop! 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 It's sort of like you've got hiccups, but a little bit more scandalous. If you know what I mean, driver gate. This is test chamber eight. Nice. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record. Followed by death. Good luck. <laughs> An unsatisfactory mark followed by death. Wonderful. So we have to see where that bounces. Let it come all the way back. And then once it goes through the first portal, shoot a second portal to disable the thingamabob. That's just how it works. Yes! We made it! So now we need to get ourselves over to the orange portal. Here we are. And now we need to get ourselves over here. And wait for the platform, because that is Toxic Death down there. Which sounds like a great name for a band, but not such a great thing to bathe in. Vroom, 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 vroom. That looks pretty dangerous. I'm not going to touch it. Please note that any appearance of danger is merely a device to enhance your testing experience. Yeah, all right. I believe you for now. Here we go. Test chamber nine. Halfway through, nearly. Test is impossible. 
Make no attempt to solve it. So we can't take the companion cube through there. Through this force field at least. What we could do, pick up the companion cube and take it up here and then make a portal in the wall over there. Oh, we can't do that. Yeah, we can. But then how do we get back up there? Hmm. Once again, the oh. Enrichment Center offers its most sincere apologies on the occasion of this unsolvable test environment. Yeah, unfortunately, mate, it's not actually unsolvable. We just need to... I need to bring that with me. G give me that. Hoop. I've got it. Whack it down. You remain resolute and resourceful in an atmosphere of extreme pessimism. Well, I mean, it didn't seem impossible. And they do say, dream the impossible, so I just, you know, I was following all those Nike slogans of old. Test number 10, it's getting serious now. Okay. What's down here? Some light. Wonderful. If you fall down a hole and then shoot out another hole, you'll be going fast when you fall out the second hole. Like this. Well, hey. You appear to understand how a portal affects forward momentum. I do indeed. Precise how it does not. So that's down there. So if I just walk... I can't shoot portals into that. Where can I shoot a portal? Oh, up there. We'll whack a portal in that. And then... We will jump. On three. One. Two. Three. Momentum. A function of mass and velocity is conserved between... Did we make it? I think we did. It's just a, like a dual phase one. Yeah, there we go. That's number two jump. So this is from higher up. Line ourselves up and go. Ooh, hey. Yeah, there we go. Look at, look at the distance we covered. I love this game. It's just such a nice puzzle solving game, like, sometimes you get puzzle solving games a bit like, I guess, Candy Crush or sort of things that are a little bit asinine and it's basically handed to you on a plate. But then you get games like Ghost Trick or Portal or things like that where you actually have to solve a puzzle that's kind of interesting and makes you think and makes you use some sort of lateral thinking to solve it and I really like that. Like. Puzzle games done right are some of the best games. It's just they're easily done wrong. The enrichment center promises to always provide a safe testing environment. In dangerous testing environments, the enrichment center promises to always provide useful advice. For instance, the floor here will kill you. Try to avoid it. Okay, so we're over here. We can press a button. What does the button do? Okay, that we can go over there, maybe. Okay, yeah, we'll be able to go behind there once they shoot the orange portal over here. So we're going to move out the way of the portal because we're not going to get shot. And then we're just going to walk through it. Hooray. Here we are. So there's that. And then if we let the ball fly through th there, it needs to go into... I don't know, where does it need to go into? Did we, did we do something? Did I accidentally do something? Oh! <laughs> okay, we've been, we've been there. I don't want to go there. Oh, I do want to go here, though. Or do I? That It looks a bit dangerous, actually. I might... I might not. Am I going to get shot by the portal gun? I feel like I might get shot by the portal gun. Yep. Oh, okay, we avoided it. Uh, so we need to shoot through here. Thing is, there's no way back. Hmm. Have I gone wrong? I'm going to do a last ditch attempt to, uh... Oh. Oh, I see! They've given me the gun. 
The device is now more valuable than the organs and combined incomes of everyone in. Subject Hong Kong, here. Bit of sass from GLaDOS, but it's all good. We've got an orange portal and we've got a blue portal. So we can go, we can really go places now, although I shouldn't have put it there. Uh, let's whack it over there. Then we have to figure out what we gotta do. Sometimes I don't realise you can pick up the portal gun, so I just like, run up to the thing that was shooting portals like, I hope this doesn't kill me, but actually it was what I was supposed to do. So... We need a portal there. And a portal here. Maybe not there. What about... Portal there and a portal here. Where did we come from? That's what I want to know. Did we come from over there? This is one of those puzzles where you sort of outthink yourself. You're like, yeah, no, I'll shoot one there, and it's like it's it it's simpler than that, my dude. It's simpler than that, my dude. Oh, there was a button. <laughs> oh well, why didn't you just press the button? There's me going, oh here, it's simpler than you think. It literally, it was right in front of me, so, uh... Guess I'm a bit silly then. Although I think that's one of the great things about Portal, it's like... Unless you play it, like, on back-to-back -back weekends or something, you forget some of the puzzles and you're like... It's easy, but... What's the answer? We're just uh, waiting for this incredibly slow... This is like how fast my train rolls into the station when I'm coming home from work. It's just like, come on, I want to get off. Let's do it. This is what my home looks like, obviously, when I get in from the station. I just go into my little padded room. Test 12. Okay, it's another one of these momentum ones. Let's fling ourselves. I do like to fling myself a little bit. Alright, here we go. Oh yeah! That was some crazy driving. So then we've got to fling ourselves even further. With a portal down there. In fact, we're going to move it back a little bit because it is a little bit hard to... It's hard to judge your exact momentum going downwards. Eey! Okay. There's the companion cube. How do we get up there? So then if we fling ourselves from down all the way up here... Well, I don't think we can fling ourselves from all the way up there. I think we'll have to do it like this. There we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, I felt like I was flying for a moment. It's like when you go over a hill too fast in a car, it's just like, whoa, hey! <laughs> so then, we wanna, yeah, we wanna come out of one of these ones. I need somewhere to shoot a portal. Give me somewhere. Or do I... Can I jump to there? I don't know, where's... There's got to be some sort of obvious solution here that I'm missing. Unless there's not. Well, let me grab the companion cube anyway. What, what colour portal did I shoot? I shot a blue one there, so if I grab the companion cube, and then wherever I land I can shoot a portal. Or I could just land exactly where I wanted to land. That would be fine too. So then we whack our blue one back on there. Oh, or we could just do that, and then we'll put a blue one down here. What I've tended to do in the past is, like, shoot a blue one, then shoot another blue one, and expect that to work somehow. I know you can't see through them, but there'll be, like, an orange one somewhere else that I've already shot, and I'm just like, yeah, this is the solution to the puzzle, for sure. Okay, thanks for that, GLaDOS. I am winner. Man, I forgot how fun it was to run through this game. Like, just every replay of this game, I've probably pl replayed it like four or five times since I first completed it. And just running through it is such pure joy. Like, it's it's what video games are supposed to be. It's just an exploration of, like, your puzzle-solving ability, a little bit of story, some challenge. What more could you want?